Namaste. Welcome back to my channel, Hippie Housewife. If you are new, welcome as well. I appreciate you popping in for this video. I typically post content about hula hooping, dreadlocks, DIYs, hacks, natural remedies, arts and crafts, nature, and all that fun jazz. So definitely take a scroll through and see if there's anything that jumps out to you of your lifestyle interest. And if so, definitely consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you will know every time I post something fun. Anywho, diving into the purpose of this video, it is not typically a video that I normally do. All of my videos are extremely structured and have a really very foundation purpose. This one is kind of like a conversation because it's been on my mind and I've been pondering about it and I found out that I'm not the only dreadhead that ponders of this big question of do I miss my natural hair? And if I did consider cutting or brushing out my dreadlocks, um, would I long for and miss my dreadlocks? So that is what inspired this content today. And I'm um, just gonna brainstorm on those thoughts with you a little bit here and see where this takes us. So I'm first gonna give you the story of how I started my dread journey. It goes way back to when I was little, I had always had this thing for dreadlocks. I always loved them so much. I thought that it was just really spiritual and nature-esque and I used to love the movie Tarzan and I thought his dreads were just like so epic and cool. So uh, it started as a little kid always being very fond of them. And as I got older, I had always loved dreadheads and their awesome beauty and I just had a really deep connection with it for some reason. Um, and then eventually, I uh, lived next door to a neighbor, loved her so dearly, she had her dreads for 10 years and they were like past her bottom and they were just so epic and awesome and I just told her, I was like, I have always wanted them but um, something had always kept me back from it, whether it was a lifestyle choice, a job at the moment, things to that nature. Um, and she said, well, I mean, like, if that's what you want to do, go for it, you know, screw the job. If they don't appreciate and accept you, then you'll always find another one. So I thought, okay, well, I wasn't like deep in a career. Why not just do a couple maybe? So um, I did a few underneath. The first two I actually did were right here. <laughs> and um, this was two years and two months ago, so I've been on the journey for over two years now. Uh, I became extremely addicted and was like, I'm just gonna do a couple more. And then the next day, maybe a few more. And before you know it, my whole head was covered in dreadlocks and I was so happy and loved them so much. But then I had to go back to work and face my boss, um, who was not very happy with them whatsoever. I work in a very fancy uh, place, industry, it's an old-timey historical place that we have banquets and serving and bartending and funerals and weddings and the whole works, so um, he did not view them as very professional, but luckily I am a hard-ass worker tooting my own horn. <laughs> and I was able to keep my job. Um, so I kind of got a little bit, you know, special treatment there and I've still been there ever since. So I uh, got really lucky on that one. But here recently, I have been having dreams and like wondering, um, especially now this far into my journey, what it feels like to have my old natural hair again. And some people, um, are gonna have different opinions so I guess like when you really click on this video or you're researching about it and listening to other people's opinions everything's gonna be different like some people get rid of their dreads and they have no regrets and some people do and they miss them so much and they feel like a piece of them has just been like taken away and it's it, like the journey is so like powerful and spiritual and like you're just in this crazy transformation as you're like growing and aging with them so I don't know how to really explain it otherwise and some people may be watching this like you're really retarded for thinking that deep in on your dreadlocks but 
you just become so attached and it becomes a part of you and like it carries all this energy with you along your journey throughout all of your years that you have them so I don't really know but I do I have always kept my tips out so they're really like wispy and soft um, but I do also wonder if I only brushed a couple out would that make me do the same thing that I did when I got all of them and like start becoming addicted to like how soft everything feels again um, I don't really know guys it's such like a hard topic uh, to even think about so I guess in a nutshell this is just a venting session and I'm sure that almost every dreadhead has thought about it at one point or another about reversing and then there are dreadheads that go back to being a dreadhead because they missed their dreads um, when they brushed them all out or shaved them all off or whatever their choice was um, so I guess I am not going to do anything until I am 100% confident in what I want to do. I have this feeling that I will miss them so, so much. Um, and then I also have this feeling that I will really love my hair for a while back in its natural state, but it won't be in its natural state right away. You know, it has to like recover from being knotted and kinked up and com condensed for so long. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to do guys, but I know it's going to be a long time-ish until I do know and figure it out from there, but it's a tricky one. It's really tricky because I like the full volume that you have with your dreadlocks and I really like long hair in particular. Before I did my dreads, my hair was down to my tailbone and obviously they shrunk significantly and just now started gaining their length back so they're like my longest ones touching the top of my belly button um and i don't know like going back to the natural hair would be like flat again and like not this like bavoom and the hairstyles would be like typical and boring and but i would miss the softness and the water situation if it's raining if you're showering if you want to dive headfirst into a lake or a pool i can't do those things right now so you know what i mean like ah it's bittersweet but i just love them so much too so i don't know i want you guys to question a comment down below especially if you're new to my channel as well and i want to know your thoughts if you're in the same position or if you know somebody who is in the same position how they dealt with it how you deal with it and yeah it's just a fun um conversation piece to toss around with everybody so i figured i would have more of a chatty type of video because out of the 70 something that i have i only have one chatty video and it's a coffee break chat and i'm updating my subs and audience on a new path and direction i'm taking with my channel so I enjoy doing this with you guys because I've grown really close to my subscribers and supporters and if you guys are new, again, welcome, so, so welcome and I just, uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna hop off of here now and I will talk to you all very soon.